All right, hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber Company, out here in, in Seneca County, Ohio. But check this one out. This is a 52 by 120 post frame. I'm gonna give you an update on the interior that we did here. But three different metals I'm gonna show you as we walk in the shop. A couple different shop areas, as you can see as I walk in there. This is the, the first one right here. But I'm gonna talk to you, the three different ones is painted galvalume, galvalume. So again, painted galvalume, galvalume, and then also galvanized metal. But you can see right here, and why would you do the three? You can see here, this gray on the sidewall right here. This is called galvalume, so it doesn't have the shine. And that's the reason why he wanted to do that. It kind of almost looks like galvanized metal, but it's not. You know, galvanized metal, you probably see in these restaurants, kind of the modern look like Chipotle or Taco Bell. Uh, but you don't see that's kind of the old school that they used to use the galvanized metal. But this is galvalume. If you can see this, I know it's a little dark in here, but it doesn't have that shine. You see how it's a dead in color. Now right there, that's a painted galvalume, three foot black wainscot right there. So what we did, and the same with the ceiling here, again, that's a painted galvalume metal. All right, what we did is we blew in uh, R25 cellulose insulation up there. And then on the side walls, we did R19 fiberglass insulation, all right. And you see, check out the trim details on these windows right here in black. All right, so that's just a little brief history on galvalume, painted galvalume, and then also galvanized metal. So just kind of give you an idea if you're looking at doing a shop. All right, you can kind of see what this is. And then he's gonna put actually a flooring down on here. But I'm gonna show you in these two different rooms, these small engine repair shop. So you got two different rooms here. And you can see the level of detail, and then we'll go into another section of the building here in a moment. But check this room out. It, you know, this isn't this is actually Galvalum liner panel. See how we frame these out here. So this is gonna be a parts room. Alright. Fairly self-explanatory. And then over here as well. And then the electrician's coming in. A little dark here, but you kind of get the idea here. Another room over here. But let's check out this room right here. This room's actually gonna be used for kind of a economy room. But what we did on this, a little different design here. White, sidewall steel, liner panel. You can see these are clopay doors that we set up, but you can see the orange wainscot that we put up here on this. And again, R1925, or R19 on the sidewall insulation, and then R25 cellulose insulation. Now on this back wall, that's exposed to the, to the elements, the weather. So we put in a thicker insulation on the back side of that. Okay, you probably can see that. I'm not gonna open that door, but you can see that's exposed. So we actually ran a two by six framing on that. That way we get a thicker insulation and so forth. But that kind of gives you an idea what you can do as far as a shop, different area and so forth. But uh, you know, 52 by 120 did the shell, did the interior work. and. I tell you what, uh, leave us some comments what you think about this. This is interesting, look at that. I just wanna kinda give you an idea so you can see that. You see it doesn't have that glare, but it had the glare, I guess you can, you know, depending on what you're going for. And, uh, but this is actually gonna be the showroom when that people come in here. Uh, this portion right here is gonna be a showroom. He's gonna have his, his mowers right here. So, it kinda gives you an idea of what you can do to get creative. Use your imagination and really get a shop going. And then obviously colors, you know, it comes in a variety of different colors, but that's kind of the difference between galvalume, painted galvalume, and then also galvanized metal. So another quality project. We're fortunate to work with this business owner here, but uh, leave us, drop us a comment, like the video, boom, keep it locked and loaded right here. Attic Lumber since 1925.